Good Sunday morning, everyone. After a dry start to the weekend, some of us, I think I'm going to back it up here. I thought I'd move my graphics around. Let's back it up here. Are waking up to a few rain showers out the door early this morning. Exact Track 40 radar has those rain showers over in Macomb County, pulling off to the east of Mount Clements, portions of uh, Monroe County, northeastern Monroe County, south of Gross Eel, and then also into Livingston County this morning. So while most of us are staying dry, we will need the umbrella for some of us this morning, and then again with a few thunderstorms this afternoon. Tower cam over at Metro Airport. Cloud cover and a dry start over in Romulus this morning, but much warmer and humid as you're waking up as well. 70 degrees this morning here in Detroit. 67 working into Pontiac. 69 this morning in Gross Eel and 59 cooler up into Port Huron. So we're going to keep an eye on things if you are going to want to get out of the house. Take the dog a walk for today. 70s this morning, an isolated shower, but then once we hit the afternoon, we start watching the radar for isolated thunderstorms. Some of us may stay dry or into the upper 80s by the time we get to late this afternoon. We do have a cold front off to the north of Metro Detroit with an upper level disturbance following. That's going to be the trigger for a few thunderstorms today, but that heat also building in out of the Midwestern United States. Excessive heat watches, warnings and heat advisories all starting to build off to the east into Illinois, and we are also going to see some very high heat index values as we head into the first part of next week as well. For today, the storm Prediction Center has placed areas along and south of 696 in green under a marginal risk. That's a one out of five on our severe weather scale. A few storms this afternoon could be on the strong to possibly severe side, but it's a very limited risk in the Ohio Valley, southeastern Michigan, back into portions of northern and northeastern Ohio. I think the better chance for more widespread severe weather moves in on Tuesday. The Storm Prediction Center has placed most of Michigan, Wisconsin, into northern Indiana, northern Ohio and northern Illinois under a slight risk. That's a level two out of five on our severe weather scale. Damaging winds and large hail will be the primary threats with those isolated storms today and again on Tuesday, although I'm not going to rule out some heavy rainfall with some of these thunderstorms as well. I think clouds and radar forecast does a good job with it. If we can go back to it here, keeping us dry with that isolated shower this morning. But once we hit the afternoon, we start to see some of those isolated thunderstorms. Again, not everybody is going to see them and then we may hold on to an isolated shower overnight tonight and early on Monday morning. But once again, I think most places stay dry. We will keep some sunshine around. It will be hot. It will be humid and then we're going to keep that humidity around Monday night and into Tuesday. Maybe an isolated shower again just because of how humid it's going to be outside. But I think the better chance for more widespread thunderstorms comes in Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday evening. Also on Tuesday, heat index values are going to be a concern. We are looking at upper 90s to lower 100s for what it's going to feel like outside Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday evening. Heat advisories may be needed by the time we get to Tuesday as well. So for today, mid to upper 80s for a daytime high, a morning shower with an isolated thunderstorm or two possible this afternoon. Bus stop tomorrow morning, maybe an isolated shower. Most places stay dry. 70s out the door, 80s by lunchtime on our way to right around 90 degrees by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon. Low 90s on Tuesday, strong to severe thunderstorms possible, very hot, very humid. The active weather continues all the way through Friday before we dry things out by the time we get to the first half of next weekend on Saturday.